What they did to slow down drivers in their neighborhood is extreme. Three speed bumps are up along the road, and now Pasco County Public Works crews will soon take them out. Eight on your side's Peter Bernard went to check it out. He joins us now live in that Port Ritchie neighborhood. Hi, Peter. Hello there. Good evening, Stacy. Uh, neighbors that are fed up with people racing up and down the street had three speed bumps installed. There's one right here, and there's two more down there. The only problem with all this is they're illegal. Hit these speed bumps just right, and you could lose your muffler. This one is built more like a curb. There are three of them along James Street in Port Ritchie. Neighbors tell me speeding is a problem. So somebody's going to take it upon themselves to take up the expense and save their you know, their neighbor some mm -hmm. grief. Yeah. More power to them. Cooper Paving out of Pennsylvania installed the speed bumps. Take it upon yourself to build in a public road is uh, it's crazy. Neighbor Eric Barlow caught the pavers in the act with his security system. You can see the machinery moving in and a truck with the Cooper Paving logo pass by. You get those Barlow insisted we not show his face because of death threats. So you have to come to almost a stop, to, or you're gonna uh, you're gonna tear something loose on your car and knock it out of line. You're you're gonna take a heck of a bump. On Barlow's video, we saw neighbor Randy Reese talking to the paving crew. I talked to him, yes. Yeah, and you told him you point. We could see you pointing out where you wanted to go. You want to take that off? No. No. Then I'm not talking to you. Reese wasn't thrilled with our camera. And they appeared to be done right in front of your house. That don't mean I done it. He ducked into his house. It is illegal to install speed bumps on a public road on your own. And we're going to, unfortunately, going to have to take that out because uh, it, it's just a, a dangerous the way it was put in for people. It's, it's not marked. And there's a process in place. Do you normally put uh, pay, uh, speed bumps on a public road without getting any kind of approval from the county? An irate Cooper Paving spokesperson told me on the phone she did it for free after neighbors asked. And that Cooper Paving lady says that the neighbors in this area, at least she thought, got the permits. I found out they did not. So a public works crew is going to come out here and take away all these three speed bumps when their workload allows. Stacy. Right, so, Peter, here's the question. Anybody going to be in trouble over the speed bump installation? And if so, who? Doug Tobin with the county says that's a possibility. Could be the paving company. They're up in Pennsylvania. They're going to have to go after them there. And the people who arranged for this. And it's especially true if the roadway has been damaged. So once they scrape this up, they're going to be taking a look to see if that's the case. All right, Peter Bernard, live in Pasco County. Thank you very much. And we want to know what you think. Did neighbors go too far putting those speed bumps in? And should the paving company be held responsible? We just posted this on our 8 on your side News Channel 8 Facebook page. So log on and share your thoughts.